another big shift and trend in uh, the entertainment business is uh, a, a huge focus and influx of money from China. Um, do you see the market there? I mean, obviously, it's, it's a huge market. It's overtaking us uh, in terms of the theater market, at least. Mm -hmm. um, do you see it as an opportunity? I know you've got some co-financing deals also, or a threat, or both? Because they're obviously, you know, Chinese production companies and other companies are, are pouring a lot of money into Hollywood, but they're also building their own Hollywood locally. It, absolutely. <clears throat> no, China is very important to the movie industry today. I think any emerging market is important where, as you say, you know, the number of movie theaters and film goers that, um, that uh, has increased in China year over year, the numbers are extraordinary. And so we're seeing that reflected in the box office. So, you know, five years ago, we didn't have any boots on the ground in China. We were um, distributing our films there, the ones that were distributed there through a third party. And we now have our own distribution, marketing organization, consumer products, and so on. And so the name of the game there really is uh, primarily is to get our, our big temple films uh, released in China. Uh, Fast and Furious uh, number seven is actually, to date, it's still the highest grossing US movie in China with over $300 million in China alone. Why do you think it did so well there, by the you way? You know, it, it's actually an interesting question. It's one that we've, we've asked a couple of different ways. I, I, I think it's just, um, I think it's, it's sort of agnostic. It's action. Uh, you know, it's really entertaining. Um, you know, I, I think it appeals to, it's sort of multi-cultural multi, uh, and uh, multi-gender. And so I think it just appeals to the broadest range of people. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but, um, you know, so anyway, China is very important to us. We, we are also looking at opportunities to potentially co-produce with China. They, they have an amazing production infrastructure there uh, of their own and looking to see if there's ways that we can collaborate on local products and things like that. We don't see them as a threat. It's a, it's a, I think it's all great to add to our ecosystem of movie making. Do, do you have to make a lot of changes to films in order to show them in China? Not really. I'm, I, I think one of the biggest shifts, actually, where China is concerned over the last few years is um, the, the conversations actually start at the green light. So at the point at which we're ready to move forward on a film, particularly a big budgeted sort of spe uh, you know, spectacle action film, you know, the kind that we are hoping will get into China. Um, we talk a lot uh, at the green light table and we actually confer a lot with, with, our, with our partners in China. Uh, you know, certainly, first and foremost, to make sure that we're avoiding anything that could be, you know, considered offensive to that market. But, you know, looking to see if there are casting opportunities or location opportunities and things like that, that could make it potentially more appealing.